wins, okay? according to this table. So, uh, so this is these are your three rows. Okay? So, um, let's say, uh, you know, the first player inputs P and the second player inputs S. Okay. So, paper. So, the first player inputs P, the second player inputs stone. Okay. So, who wins? Well, paper covers stone, right? So, the first player wins. So, you output true. True, true meaning the first player wins. The first player wins. Okay. Let's do a few, a few others. So, um, uh, let's say the two inputs are uh, uh, scissors and stone. Okay. Scissors, so it would be this road, and stone, that column. Scissors, you know, first, uh, so our uh, ordered pair is uh, scissors, SC, and stone. So the ordered pair would be uh, round bracket, SC, comma, S, close round bracket. Okay, that, that's your ordered pair. That go, that's what goes in. It's an element of your Cartesian product, A cross A, and A is the set of these three, these three things. Okay, so what do we say? Um, scissors and, and uh, stone, okay? So your first input, uh, your first player inputs scissors, and your second in, uh, player inputs stone. Who wins? Uh, well, scissors cannot cut stone. Scissors is blunted by stone. So stone stone wins. Second player wins. So that means it's false that the first player wins because the second player wins. Right? So you, you know, output F. Okay? So uh, if you so you can use this table then to uh, choose what the output should should be. Now uh, <laughs> if in this case, you know, along the diagonal here, like you'll have scissors, scissors here, and you have paper, paper here, and stone, stone here. Uh, strictly beats this this function, this predicate. It outputs whether the first player wins, wins. So if it draws, if the two draw, that is not a win. So strictly speaking, it should be a false, 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 false here. But that, well, I felt a bit antsy about it. Sort of destroys the point of the game. So I, put, I also put a dash here uh, to mean um, not defined in a sense, uh, because you repeat the game. Right? When, you, when the two of them do the same, uh, you, you just repeat. But strictly speaking, uh, a draw is not a win. Okay? So uh, did first player win? No, because he, he drew, she drew. Okay, so. Right? Okay, moving, uh, oh, wait a minute. Um, so, so using this table uh, to as your function, as your predicate, because it out, you know, remember, remember, a predicate is a function that outputs true or false, and a relation is a particular kind of predicate when the two inputs come from the same set, members of the same set. I think, I think, I think that's fair. Uh, Sipsa did not spell that out too clearly, but I, I assume that's what he means. All right, so uh, let's write out uh, the like the function statement, if you like, in terms of uh, here's your f, and it acts on uh, an element. Uh, it'll be an element of your Cartesian product, so it'll be a, an ordered pair. Right? So let's say S C P. So scissors paper first. First player does scissors, second player does paper. So first player wins, right? Because scissors cut paper. Uh, so uh, this function will re return true. Okay? So scissors paper, scissors paper, true. Okay? Uh, now that's, that's in prefix notation. Right? Prefix notation. Now in ordinary conversation, you, you would use uh, infix notation. Scissors beats paper. Right? Where that's your function, f uh, function, it's a predicate and it's a relation. Right? Each time more more specific. <coughs> okay? Now, so it's, uh, scissors beats paper, true, right? infix notation. Okay, moving on a little bit. 
Um, so sometimes it, you know, it's more convenient uh, when you're describing a, a predicate, something like this, to uh, you, to use a set to, to when you're describing a predicate, you, it's easier to use a set than, than it is um, to than using a predicate. Like like here here you're using the predicate form, right? but if you want to do it in terms of a set, there's an easier way. You, you just well I'll, I'll show you the example. <coughs> Here's, here's a way of describing the predicate in terms of a set. You just you just list the cases that that are true. Like um, so, your A belongs to the domain. Now, in this case, we're talking predicate. Uh, so the input element to your function, little f, is a what's the word? K tuple. It's a K tuple. In this case for the game, uh, it's a two-tuple, it's a pair, an ordered pair. The order is important, <laughs> very important. You know, scissors, paper is very different from paper, scissors. Right? So, uh, so A here would be an ordered pair, and, you know, it's a member of your domain, your Cartesian, Cartesian product. And uh, P here, you know, think of that as your little f, so that's your, that's your function. That is your predicate, P for predicate, and it's a relation, right? So you could you could have R here as well. So so P of A, uh, you know, for that ordered pair, uh, is true. Now this is a condition. Remember, remember this way of describing a set is via a description or a, a belonging rule, uh, a rule, uh, uh, a condition, uh, uh, some condition that uh, this this element has to satisfy some rule it has to satisfy, some condition it has to satisfy to belong to the set. Right? Um, and what is that condition? Well, the, the predicate applied to that member of the domain is true. Right? It returns true. So you're just listing the elements for which the function, the predicate, P, returns true. So, um, in other words, uh, that uh, these this set of A's here, uh, that's a list of what? Well, ordered pairs for which P is true. Well, what are they? I mean, let's actually do them. Well, here, so so uh, now remember the first one. It, now it's an ordered pair. The order is critical, right? So um, so the first player does scissors. And the second player does paper. Uh, this P will return true. In other words, uh, scissors beats paper. And here's a, you, you've made a list here of these ordered pairs. You know the ways that you, as first player, you can win. Right? Well, three ways. Uh, if you do paper, the other guy does stone, you'll win. If you're the first player. And if you do uh, stone, the other guy does uh, scissors, you'll win. So the so you then, you then have a list of three ordered pairs, and you're now talking about a list to describe uh, this predicate. Okay? So sometimes it's just easier to use a, uh, a list to describe what, what this predicate is doing, right? rather, rather, than, uh, uh, rather than, say, the table for t describing the predicate, the, the relation, the function. All the same. Okay, uh, new topic, subtopic. Um, again, in the context, you know, we're getting more and more detailed, more and more uh, refined, more and more specific. So, uh, so we started with uh, like function, and then we talked about predicate, right? Remember, or, or property, same thing. Um, and remember, a predicate returns uh, true or false. So, so its range is the set true, comma, false. Uh, now, now we're going to talk about a particular kind of relation. We're getting more and more specialized. Okay? So uh, we're going to talk about an equivalence relation. Now, uh, you can probably half guess 
from the very label of this kind, this specialized kind of relation, uh, equivalence. So what is, what is you know, equivalence, in, in ordinary speech, equivalence, if something is equivalent to something else, means it's sort of the same, right? Um, effectively the same. Uh, for example, 